At the invitation of Metropolitan Water Reclamation District Commissioner Kerry Steele, we were permitted to take a tour of the McCook Reservoir, which is part of the MWRD's Comprehensive Tunnel and Reservoir Plan, also known as TARP. The plan includes a system of deep, large diameter tunnels and vast reservoirs designed to reduce flooding countywide by using various methods to effectively manage stormwater and biosolids. The McCook Reservoir is a modern-day marvel. 3,000 feet long, 310 feet deep. It will serve 37 communities connected by an intricate interlocking network of 109 deep tunnels. During heavy rainstorms, water will come through these huge tunnels at a speed of 30,000 cubic feet per second. We were taken on a guided tour to view this immense structure. These loaders and excavators, in some cases, cost over $2 million. You think tires for your vehicle are expensive? These tires are over seven feet tall and cost $20,000 each. I spoke with managing civil engineer, Kevin Fitzpatrick. So what, we're, what the whole thing is planned to do is to capture polluted water every time it rains. Uh, that polluted flood water mixes with sewage and it ends up in the waterways or in people's uh, basements and we're trying to give it another place to, to come to so it doesn't flood people. One thing people think about, uh, I see the aeration uh, sticks that you talked to us about that uh, keeps the smell down because of course we're dealing with sewage and wastewater and things of that nature. Tell us a little bit about the, I guess that would be, that would classify as green technology, right? It would. They're solar powered aerators, so they have a battery backup also, but they basically use the sun to uh, spin a turbine and, and, and get oxygen in the water to keep it from going septic. And that keeps? And that uh, will allow, it traps all the odors yes. underneath the surface layer. Yeah. Commissioner Steele is a chemist. So this is right up her alley and right in her area of expertise. This is an engineering wonder. I mean, it's part of our TARP deep tunnel project. This is the McCook Reservoir. It will have the capacity to hold about three billion gallons of water, stage one. And then when stage two is complete, it will hold 10 billion gallons of water. This is very important because it's going to help keep water out of the basement of homes when we have the heavy downpours. Um, will basically reserve combined sewage overflow into the reservoir and it's like kind of like a, just a, a holding spot for it when we have too much um, rain at one time and then it could be pumped out to our treatment plants and we'll treat the plant treat the water as usual before it's released into the waterways so it's important to us at water reclamation because our primary uh, function is to treat your wastewater and to manage flood control so it helps us with that flood control and stormwater management I've noticed uh, via social media you're always giving hints and tips and tricks to uh, the residents letting them know uh, all across Cook County the things that they can do uh, to conserve water and uh, ways to save money. I mean and, and I think that's very important. Why do you think that that's so important? I mean beyond your regular, you, know, it, you seem like you have a passion for it uh -huh. beyond just being an elected official. Well yeah I do have a passion for it. Beyond me being an elected official and it being my job, um, water reclamation was actually my first job. I'm a chemist by trade, so I used to work as a water chemist for water reclamation and the water department. Um, my first job was at water reclamation while I was obtaining, obtaining my chemistry degree. So um, it is very important to me. Water is a valuable natural resource that we have to protect and preserve. So we have to um, practice water conservation all of the time. And I feel like the more people hear about things like this, the more they'll practice, you know, water conservation and the more they'll be just environmentally aware of what's going on around us. A few years ago, elected officials, including our very own Mayor Rogers, visited the Thornton Quarry, which is now the Thornton Composite Reservoir. So now you've learned, thanks to the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago, 
how things get done.